If you like to watch Mori Povich or Steve Wilkos, you've definitely heard of this technology. The polygraph is a machine which measures various reactions of the human body during questioning. These reactions include changes in respiration, pulse, and skin conductance. A machine like this sounds wonderful on paper, but in practice, unfortunately, it holds little validity within the scientific community. The polygraph instrument itself is based on a flawed and highly outdated idea. It has long been held that lying produces physical side effects, and while this may be true for some people, the same symptoms come from being nervous or anxious about the questions being asked. Known spies such as Aldrich Ames and Carl Kosher have passed the polygraph with no problems. The main point of the polygraph machine is to intimidate the suspect into giving a confession, not to read his physiological signs of guilt. In the United States, the polygraph is universally frowned upon when it comes to presenting guilt in court. Delaware, Iowa, Maryland, Massachusetts, and New Jersey have banned employers from using a polygraph in determining eligibility for employment or to find out if an employee is telling the truth or not if suspected of wrongdoing. Everywhere in the United States, no witness or defendant is mandated to take the test. For the majority of places, the polygraph is simply not scientifically accurate enough to warrant a guilty or not guilty accusation. Research in 1997 has found the machine to be around 61% accurate. For the scientific community, that is nowhere near high enough to be admitted as a valid testing procedure. A polygraph examiner, along with his machine, are only as strong as the defendant believes they are. The device itself is intimidating for a person who is fearing for their freedom, or is perhaps nervous about the examiner believing they are guilty. After the machine is gone, the guilty person may be so relieved to be away from what they perceive as a scary device that they are willing to confess whatever the investigator wants to hear. In cases of guilt, this is a good thing. But if someone is terrified for their true innocence, the polygraph is a severely lacking instrument. Despite claims to the contrary, the polygraph is simply not accurate enough to be used without acknowledging the inherent flaws. The bottom line is that while the device can claim a certain degree of accuracy, it is simply about as good at detecting the truth as Glenn Beck is at sounding smart. The fact that we are still using this outdated machine is simply laughable to most scientific minds, and is a concept that needs to be drastically improved or abandoned for better methods. So much more than I get I just haven't met you yet I might have to wait I'll never give up I guess it's half timing And the other half's luck Wherever you are